Nancy Kane. I fell in love with her in July 1972 in Miami. And I still love her after she died this week, 49 years later. Nancy was gentle, delicate, brilliant, and clear what she would and wouldn't accept in people, in art, and in all parts of her life. She struggled mightily in the past couple of years after tending to her husband Paul for several years before that. But her values never changed at all. She stood for something. She laughed, cried, and spoke her truth every day. And to create anything with her was always an adventure. She cared. She cared about the people on the other side of the lens when she was shooting, and she cared about just about everybody. And she was never uptight about the process of doing what she was doing because she loved it, and she was great at it. Uh, and she loved to be surprised, even by the smallest things. And when she laughed, I did. And so did everybody else. So, oh, and her book, her book. She wrote it in 2011. The writing was beautiful, organized, and disciplined, as she always was. At least in her own way. Uh, she wrote the truth. If you've never read it, please do. Yes, it's about video from a, a, a clear thinking pioneer, but it's also an honest and personal story everyone can relate to. Nancy had no regrets and she didn't express them. She didn't hold on to any regrets. My only one is that she didn't answer the phone at 9.33 Pacific time the, the night before she drew her last breath. And I left a message, but I didn't get to hear her then small voice one last time. It was disclosed today that the recent accident at Three Mile Island was not caused by human hair as was originally suspected, but in fact by equipment malfunction. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission today said that human hair, human air that is, was a major factor, but a congressional task force looking into the accident claims that equipment failure played an even bigger role. I guess that's scrap metal, scrap metal, right? I guess, and I guess that what they're doing is putting it uh, out of the pile into the barge, and they'll take the, the barge down to some other location and uh, unload the, the stuff from the barge into a, a pile. It's all day I've been just amazing myself by thinking about how the capitalistic system works. You know, and how come somebody just doesn't throw up his hands over in the bank and just give up and start over? You know, I had to have my thumbprint taken today to cash a check at the bank. I told the woman, I said, you know, this is what, this is what turns nice middle-class girls into the SLA. This kind of treatment. But then again, it was a question of whether I wanted my cash or whether I didn't. My right thumbprint for $96. I think I'm going to just lie around for a couple of days and take a good look at my life, you know? I'll make some early resolutions. For example, my Pat Robertson obsession. I'm giving him up. I'm giving him up. I'm not following him around anymore. I won't be going to any of those press conferences. And I won't be going to those breakfasts, and I absolutely will not go to the banquets. No. So I'm going to give up Pat Robertson, and I'm also going to give up sugar. I know, I know, a lot of you are saying, but Nancy, 
How can we feed our healthy paranoia without Pat Robertson? Well, don't worry about it, because at the last banquet I went to for Pat Robertson down in Anaheim, I met Reverend Bradison. And Reverend Bradison is Pat Robertson's minister and mentor. And if you believe it, Reverend B is the next level of intrigue. You know, Pat, God has done so much for us over the years. Let's just praise him worship him right now. Yeah, gladly. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You've been so good to me, to Harold, all of us. We praise you. You are God. There is none other. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, you say you would like to get a, a walking shot. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special bulletin. We switch you now to Harriet's trailer in downtown Lanesville. We did have, we had reports. I was called in just to find out from some of the people here what they saw. Uh, I've, I've come in just to check it out to be sure that we get the proper story, the exact story of the people who saw it. And perhaps you did see something, Harriet, that we want to know about, and I know you, you want to tell us about it. Uh, it did go by here this morning, you say? Yes. It did? Mm-hmm. And it was, it was a uh, light? Yes. It was moving across the sky right over here, across the valley? Yes. Over here? Mm-hmm. And the first thing you saw was a light. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Wow. Wow. He was traveling. <laughs> so what do you think of that? You think we need flying saucers here in Lanesville? No, we don't need no flying saucers. Do you see any more of them? Are they coming through quite regular or just no. one? Or That's the only one I ever seen. Uh -huh. What, what did it look like? Looked like? Looked like a big flat piece of material. Uh-huh. Did it go fast? Very fast. About how fast? Oh. Faster than a jet plane? Yep, a lot faster. Where did it go off to? Where did you last see it? Right over top of the mountain there it was going. Uh-huh. That was early? That was early this morning? Yep. Fast. Did Very it, fast. Did it scare you? Nah. I don't scare her that easy. Nice. You didn't see him or anything, did you? You didn't see anything you get see out. Anything no. come out of there? Didn't see none. So what, you think we should go over and take a look at it, or, I mean, what should we do about well, it? Well, I don't know. I'll have to tell you about it. Okay. Hey, we better leave them alone. You think so? Before they bring back more. You think, gonna, you, think, you think they mean to do harm to us? I don't think so. Maybe be good for business. I think they're just looking around, see what kind of a country we live in here. What do you think they found? A lot of mountains. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was big. I'd, uh, feet, let's see, maybe 50 feet around, 60 feet around, it's hard to say. Kind of round-shaped, you know. Did, did the shape stay the same? Pretty much the same, yeah. I mean, it didn't give off, like, any fire or smoke or but anything. But it wasn't, like it was very shapeless in some way. I mean, you couldn't really say that it had a shape. I mean, it was just very shapeless. It seems that it bothered you a little bit. Yeah, it did bother me. I mean, I'm still a little freaked from the whole thing, you know. I mean, it happened a few hours ago, but I'm freaked, yeah. I've never seen anything like that in my life before. Never. Never. I just saw a flying saucer, and it was it had white, white stripes all around it, and it was um, it had white stripes. Where was it? It went towards, this time it went that way. It flew it that way, and it landed on that car over there. Right on top of it? And the kid went after it, and he couldn't reach it. So this guy came out of the store, and he got it for him. What did it look like? 
flying saucer. Blue. Was really it was a sudden thing. We was just waiting for the bus, and everyone was just standing there so quiet. And we looked up, and there it was. And then we fainted. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you together? Well, yes. I was brave and well, faint. First I did that, Cheryl did. First I fell down, then she fell down on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, then, and then Chris just ran, and then she fainted. Did you see where it went? It went right over that mountain. Uh -huh. It's weird. I thought I saw something coming out. Oh, well. It was just like from there straight across. It was so fast. Wow. Huh. We were the video freaks. Yeah. So I had my camera, of course, and uh, I was coming down for the mail. And uh, it, it came over. It came down from that into the valley, and it just crossed directly over and, and, and went across that hill there. And I, well, you tell me. Let's take a look. You tell me. Ha. Ha. This is your Lanesville TV editor for this week, and I'm here to remind you that, as you remember, we are going out of the valley this week, and if we do want to fit into this VTR format, we're going to have to end the show right here. So, we'd like to say good night to everybody and hope that you enjoy very much what it was that you were doing before we began. So, good night, folks. Continue. Oh, and don't forget to go outside. Okay. Fine. All right. Yeah, because I have a fame design of my cards.